Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to discuss another Databricks interview question and this particular video will be part 11 in that. But before moving on, do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So without any further delays, let's move on and see what question I have for you for today. So if you see this particular question that I have for today is more of like, you know, a hands on question where interview might want to gauge your hands on skill or hands on practice, right? So this particular question might come to you in the same fashion or maybe in a little twisted fashion. So in this question, I have a text file, right? So this is how my text file looks like. So this is nothing but an ebook, right? I will give you the link for this particular ebook in the description box. This is an open source one. So you can go ahead and use the same ebook or the text file and you can, you know, do the same question and do it on your own, right? So I'll leave the link in the description box. So this is nothing but an ebook. So in the similar fashion, interviewer might say, okay, you have a text file or you have a, you know, a any ebook as well. Now he might ask you questions based on the data cleansing using the cbook right now when i come uh, to this particular question you might get questions like count the number of words count the total number of word words in this particular ebook count the occurrence of each word in this particular ebook right so these are the questions that might come up and similarly there are punctuation so if you look at this particular ebook you have punctuation marks right you have this comma over here you have this dot so you have uh, you know punctuation so you might have to clean the data over here you might have to remove the punctuations you might have to play with the cases so these kind of things you have to do and then you can go ahead and count the number of words so the interviewer might definitely ask you to share your screen and do it right so let's move on and see you know how we can solve these questions so essentially in this particular question, I have, uh, you know, copied this text file and I have already placed this text file in my DBFS file store, this particular location, shp.txt. This is the file that I have, right? So you can copy the location of this file as well, copy path and all. So this is the same file, uh, which is nothing but this ebook. Now I'm going to read this ebook and then do, do all the data cleansing and then, you know, count the number of words, right? So for counting the number of words, I have used a function over here. Now this is nothing but, you know, your uh, count word count function, right? I have created a function to do that. Now this word count function, the, what it does is it takes a data frame as an input, right? The name of the data frame I'm saying, let's say you can keep it anything word list df now i'm saying group by word dot count so right i am simply passing on a data frame and i'm saying just group by the words right now to reach to this level i cannot pass in you know this particular text file to it right i need to clean the data i need to get the words from this whole ebook and then only i can pass it as a data frame right to this and i can count the words we will see it how no worries also remember that since you know there will be a lot of data cleansing work and also you might need to import spy spark sql functions right you might need to import you know a lot of functions like for example trim call lower split explode and all you need you might need it now for that you always have to use from pyspark.sql.functions import star right you can do import star if you know exact functions which you are using you can put in that as well now the second function which i have used is let me is remove punctuation now you already know that this ebook has a lot of punctuations i don't want to count punctuations as words right so i'm just removing the punctuations now for that what i'm trying to do i am trying to use first let's say trim function i'm going to explain you each and every thing here now this remove punctuation takes in a column which has the data and then what it tries to do is it tries to trim right and how it is trimming it is trimming the spaces right left and right spaces that is why i'm using trim function and then i am using lower function because i am trying to you know even if there are upper cases i want everything in the lower cases so for example if you see over here 
everything is in upper case right few things are in camel case so i want it to be completely in the lower case so that's why i am keeping it as lower similarly i am using regular expressions here now if you have been watching my previous videos you already know what a regular expression is in case you don't know it requires a completely separate video right or you can you know just google a little bit it will become easier for you so regular expression using this regular expression right i am passing in the column right and i am saying that use this regular expression to search this kind of word so this is how regular expression actually works right so each and every caret symbol caret symbol essentially means start with and this uh, you know backslash s space words and all right so this is how regular expression works and what it tries to do is it search for this kind of pattern right this pattern is nothing but a punctuation pattern it is trying it is trying to check if it has any uh, you know punctuation and if it has any punctuation just replace it with blank over here so this is the regular expression usage over here and then alias it as a sentence now how it is working this whole function remove punctuation i pass in a column over here in that particular column it tries to check if it has any regular expression uh, sorry if it has any punctuation then using regular expression it tries to remove that punctuation by putting a blank in case of uh, any uh, punctuation that comes up once it does that it is trying to convert the every case into the lower case and after that it is trying to trim it trim the you know trailing and the leading spaces so this is how this remove uh, punctuation function works and uh, you know and now if you see i have already stored this file over here right shp.txt i showed you right so the same file i am you know just uh, uh, you know writing here writing here the path of my file right now after i have the file over here i am saying that spark.read.txt dot, uh, dot text i am essentially trying to read my file i am trying to provide the location of my file which is nothing but the file name parameter after that i am saying that dot select right dot select remove punctuation i am calling the remove punctuation functions from the top right this is the punctuation uh, remove punctuation function that i have defined and then i am passing it in the column right now my text file has everything as a column which is nothing but uh, the name of the column is value so i'm passing everything as a column right and it is going to the remove punctuation and in the result if you say if you see shakespeare df dot show if you see this is how my remove punctuation function is applied and you can see that everything is in the lower case it has no uh, you know uh, everything is in lower case there is no punctuation over here right so this is how i have read the file i have removed the punctuation and i have put everything in the lower case now once i have done this and the name of my column is sentence over here right alias as sentence because my function at the top is aliasing it aliasing everything as a sentence right now after i have done this it becomes really very easy for me to count the words right now everything has become a sentence over here in the data frame now what i'm trying to do i i am going to split each and every word from this particular data frame which has a column named as sentence i'm going to split each and every word and this word splitting right this word splitting i'm going to do it with the help of space that if it has one or more space then just split it right the moment i do that how i will do it i will do it using my split function right that takes take the shakespeare data frame do a split based on the space one or more space this uh, s plus essentially means one or more space and alias it as a split right now essentially if you see uh this means uh let me just remove this this uh, remove this uncommented and show it how does it work now i have run this and if you see this is how it it has splitted everything so each and every line if you go uh let me if you see this the project everything has been split by each and every word and this is the first line right of my um, ebook right it has split everything by each and every word it has split everything by the space and we have got each and every word and the second line is blank right so similarly just because second line is blank we have got the second row as blank over here now once i have got this right if you see 
everything has come in form of a list now in python list and array is almost the same thing right now i want i have each and every word now but it will become even more easier for me if each and every word is in form of a row right now from a list of words right if i want to convert everything into row of words i can easily use explode like i have talked about explode in my databricks uh, videos as well earlier right so essentially let me do the same thing that i have discussed right i am trying to use explode on this particular data frame shake words split i'm saying that go to this particular data frame and then you know explode it right explode you know whatever you are getting in the split column just explode it and alias it as word so now let me just run it and show it to you how does it work so if you see this is the output right now everything which was in one list has come in the uh, you know separate rows each and every word is in separate row now it has blank as well now if you want to remove blank then in that case again it becomes really simple let me just comment this and uncomment this part right now if you want to you know just make sure that you do not have any nulls then in that case you can simply put a where clause right you can simply say just get me those words where word is not null then you can simply run this and display it pretty much it will all be same just that it will not have nulls and all right now in that if you want to you know uh, check out uh, okay give me one minute let me just uncomment and uncomment this part now here if you want to count the total number of words right it has this, the, these are the, this is the you know uh, a data frame which has a column word and each and every row is nothing but each and every word from the ebook right if you want to do a count you can simply say you know the data frame dot count right as simple as that now the moment i run this you will actually see that it starts running and it will give you the count of words that are present in the ebook this is how it works right and this might be a question itself right and a little more detailed question can be like count each and every word right count the occurrence of each and every word so for that uh, let me again comment this part and uncomment this part so if you see if you want to get the count of each and every word then simply i have already told you about the function word count right this word count is nothing but it takes a data frame as an input and do a group by on word and then a count it just do group by and count right this is the word count uh, function that we have seen over here right the moment it is done and you can actually see that i have run it just now and you can see that each and every word the count of the you know how many times it has occurred online has come four times art has come 986 times you can get it similarly if you want to you know play around a little bit more and you want to say maybe interviewer might you know just to complicate things a little bit they might say you know in one go that okay order it by the count of descending right then on the same data frame you can say order by count descending right or ascending equal to zero ascending equal to zero means descending remember that so let me just run it now the moment i run it then you can see that you will again get the word count but in this case what will happen is the count will be in the descending order you will get the output by count in the descending order so this is how you can actually you know uh, you know do it on your own as well i'll leave the link in description and do remember to like, share and subscribe and share your Databricks interview experience as well. So thank you so much for being till here.